you cannot cook on the Sabbath, James. Watch this, James. Watch, 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 watch. Look, James, you don't want to hear the Bible. Hey, wait. James, you asked the question. I'm just going to read the answer. So what's your name over here, bro? James. Daniel? James. James? Oh, praise this, James. Here we go. Now you ask, do we live by faith or by the law? All right? Watch this. Read that. Romans chapter 3, verse 31. Bring it on. Do we then make void the law through faith? Now, do we then move the laws of God out of the way for faith? Read. God forbid. No. Read. Yea, we establish the law. Yet we keep the law. Now, let's go to where we got to keep the law, the faith and Jesus, in Jesus Christ and the law. Romans, uh, no, Revelations 14. Watch this. We're going to read where you got to do both. You got to do both. Revelations. He gonna, you going to read it with us? All praises. We'll wait for him to get it. Revelation, chapter 14, verse 12. Here's the patience of the saints. Here are they that keep the commandments of God. So we have to keep the commandments, read. That keep the commandments of God and the faith of Jesus. So do we got to do both, James? Do we got to do both? Do we got to keep faith in Jesus and keep the commandments? The commandments, Jesus is, Jesus say a new commandment I give you. Uh-huh. Because the new commandment is the law of God. So what Jesus, is the new commandment if, that he Je said? if Jesus fulfilled the, the new command, Jesus fulfilled that. He said he fulfilled it. All right, we want to read this, right? Let's go to Matthew five. Watch this, James. Hey, I like what you're saying, James, because I understand where you're coming from. But what you're saying is Christianity, James. What you're saying, I'm going to read it. Yes, you go to church, James. James, do you go to church? You mean to tell me? Yes, sir. Come closer, so I can hear you. And I know, just come closer and back up in there. I'm up in chains. What is he saying? Somebody tell me what he's saying. What? What's he saying? Christ. You mean tell me Christ? If he died, if Christ died for our sins. If Christ died for our sins. In the first church, there were Christians. And in the first church, there was Christians. And they okay. were called Christians. Yes. Christ like. Yes. Now, so, to be Christ like, what you got to do, though? I said Christianity. Be born again. I said you're saying Christianity. The Christians kept the laws of God and faith in Christ. Christianity of today does not do any of them. Because if they had the faith in Christ, what day are we supposed to go to church on, James? According to Christ and God. If we had faith in what God and Christ said, we would go on a particular day. What day is that? Every day. <sighs> What's the fourth commandment? Keep the Sabbath day holy. And then you read about, as you read the laws, you must come together on the Sabbath. You, you know what I'm talking about? When Jesus, when Jesus came. He done away with that? No, Jesus came. He said, I, I am the... No, he said, Sabbath was made for man, and man not made for the Sabbath. And he is the Lord of the Sabbath. He's the Lord of the 
the Sabbath. So then that, so that, so what? No, that don't mean that. Jesus broke, he broke the Sabbath. Jesus broke the Sabbath every day of the week. He broke the Sabbath every day of the week. Wait a minute, let's go to First Peter's. Let's get one. <laughs> James, come on. James, you, hey, you my guy, but I need you to listen to me. Come on. Come right here, James. Check this Come out. right here. But Jesus yes, went in the corn field. Uh-huh, and he ate the corn. And he gave the corn. He was breaking the Sabbath. Watch this. Now, there was a law in the Bible that he didn't break. You know what he's talking about in Matthews? Yes, sir. Let's get that in Matthews. Watch your hold up. James, James, James. Listen, I listen, listen. about my head. It's, it's cooking. I know it's hot. Dang, I want you to stay over here. I want to slide over that to him. Watch this, James. Watch this, James. We're going to read it. Then we're going to read the law in Deuteronomy that Christ kept. Watch this. You got it? Yes, sir. All right. Read that. Matthew chapter 12, verse 1. Uh -huh. At that time, Jesus went on the Sabbath day through the corn, uh -huh. and his disciples were in hungry, and began to pluck the ears of corn and to eat. So, so Christ went through the field, and he plucked corn to eat. Watch this. Read on. But when the Pharisees... What'd you say? That was the Sabbath. Watch this. Watch this. Read on. But when the Pharisees saw it, so the Pharisees saw it. So now we got two people, two, now we got two types of people standing there. We got the Pharisees that go against Christ and God, and we got Christ and his followers that's with them. So you got God, you got Christ and his followers that keep the commandments, and you got the Pharisees who are hypocrites. Watch this. Read. But when the Pharisees saw it, they said unto him, Behold, thy disciples do that which is not lawful to do on the Sabbath day. So that's what the Pharisees said. Look, your disciples do what is not lawful to do on the Sabbath. Read on. But he said unto them, Have ye not read what David did when he wasn't hungry? Uh -huh. And that... And they that were with him? So remember when David, he ate the showbread that he wasn't supposed to eat that was for the Levites because they was hungry? Now let's get the law that Christ kept in Deuteronomy. Now, now let's read the law of and a person can eat the... Hold on, James, James, I want to take your question. Let's read the law that Christ did. Verse 25. Yeah, here we go. Read that. Deuteronomy, chapter 23, verse 25. Yep, 25, that's it. When that... When thou comest into the standing of corn to thy neighbor. Now, so this is a cornfield. If you come into the standing of the corn of your neighbor, read on. Then thou mayest eat, excuse me, pluck the ears with thine hand. But thou shalt not move a sickle unto thy neighbor's standing corn. So you're able to pluck it to eat because you're hungry, but you can't go out there and work and pick up a full basket of corn. So did Christ break a law? So did Christ break a law, James? Based off of that law, did Christ break the law? Based off that, he didn't, but based off the you Sabbath. First Peter, he don't pull the, the Sabbath saying, he you don't pull the work. You, that, he can he send that as work. He didn't work. He didn't work. Why? Yeah, if he got out the corn, that would work. No, he did not go and get a basket and work. Work, work bro. Work, work, work means you, you don't do nothing on the Sabbath. You do not do nothing on the Sabbath. So you're saying that. that Christ broke the laws of God. He fulfilled it. Watch this. He fulfilled it. He got it. What? James, let's listen to the Bible. First Peter, chapter 2, verse 21. For even here unto where he called, because Christ also suffered for us, leaving us an example. So Christ left us an example to follow. Read on. That ye should follow his steps. Read on. Who did no sin. Who did what? Who did no sin. Who did what? Who did no sin. So when he plucked the corn on the Sabbath day to just eat that piece because he was hungry, who did no sin? Read on. Neither was God found in his mouth. So he did not break a law. Come on, James, you knew that. Because you say Christ is perfect, right? You say Christ is perfect, and then you turn around and say he sinned. Come on. He fulfilled it. Let's go to Matthew 5. Let's read about what he fulfilled. How about that if we show you? Let's do that. Since we've been going through showing you so far and you've been humble enough to listen, we're going to show you now. Let's get that five. Yep. Matthew chapter 5 verse 17. Think not that I have come to destroy the law. Christ is written in red. It says, Christ says, think not that I come to destroy the law. Meaning don't even put that in your mind that you ain't got to keep the laws no more. Read on. All the prophets. Uh -huh. I am not come to destroy, but 
to fulfill. So he said, look, I did not come to destroy the laws, but to fulfill. It didn't tell you what he came to fulfill right there. Hold that. Now let's go to, no, let's go to Acts 3.18. Look it up. Acts 3.18. Let's find out what Christ was fulfilling of what the prophet said about him. You got it? Read. Acts chapter 3, verse 18. Uh -huh. But those things which God before had shown by the mouth of all his prophets. So there was things that was written about Christ that he showed to the prophets before. Your Jeremiah, your Ezekiel, your Daniel, Moses, all of them. Read on. That Christ should suffer. That's what he fulfilled. Because when you read in the Old Testament, you read about Christ coming and dying for his people. For us. You read about Christ coming and being beaten. You re you actually don't you don't read about how bad Christ was beaten until you read Psalms, right. when it shows that his bones was exposed. You don't read about that in the New Testament. You just know that he was crucified, but it doesn't tell you how. It don't tell you that his bird got ripped off in the New Testament. Yeah. It tells you that that happened in the Old Testament. So he fulfilled that. Now we don't have to keep the law of sacrifice because he's the Lamb of God, but that does not mean that we can break the Sabbath. That don't mean that we can kill. That don't mean that we can commit adultery. All those we must keep and the faith in Jesus Christ because now he is the sacrifice. So you understand what I'm saying now, James? All praises. Got another question? Yes, sir. How are you going to keep all that? What he said? How are you going to keep all that? How are we going to keep the laws? All praises to the Most High. Watch Let's this right here, James. Philippians chapter 4, verse 13. Oh. I can do all things through Christ which strengthens me. Now, you, read, you believe the Bible? You got faith in Christ? You got faith in what the Bible says? So why in the world we ask, well, how are we going to do that once we learn the laws? No, you can. You can do it because Christ is going to put the Spirit on you to do it if you want to do it. You got to want to keep what God said. You got to love this thing. If you don't love what God says, you know what you'll end up doing, James? You'll go to church on Sunday. You'll keep Christmas. Because that ain't got nothing to do with Christ's birthday. You'll do Thanksgiving. You're celebrating the murder of your own people. But when you don't got faith in Jesus, you will do all those evil things. Matter of fact, you'll fire up a grill on the Sabbath day. Just like we see people doing. We'll cook and work all on the Sabbath. We won't even ask for the Sabbath day off. What he said? He said, you mean to tell me a man ain't supposed to fire up that grill right now? Absolutely, let's read that on this. You, you was here when he went over the Sabbath? Let's read it. Yeah. Watch this. Yeah. Watch, watch. No. Yeah, no, you cannot cook on the Sabbath, James. Watch this, James, watch, 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 watch. Oh, Look, James, wait. you don't want to hear the Bible. Hey, wait. James, you asked the question, I'm just gonna read the answer. Hey, I'm just do y'all eat it out of the Bible. Yeah. I'm not going to make it do up. Any, do anybody, do any of y'all cook on Saturday? No. Don't no, don't. You can cook. No. You can eat sandwiches on the Sabbath. You can eat salad, cereal. Okay. We can't fight all the food that we eat. Oh, we can't fight. Because look, we can all be eating salads and sandwiches. Okay. All we want to eat on the Sabbath. I can't cook today. <laughs> don't worry, you got it. 35, here we go. Read that. Exodus chapter 35, verse 3. Watch You shall kindle no fire throughout your habitations upon the Sabbath day. It said you shall kindle no fire. Let's get the other one in 16. Watch this. So you cannot kindle a fire on the Sabbath. Now we finna get specific and read it where it said it again. So God had it wrote two times because we gonna sit up there and try to be simple and not act like we don't understand what we're really talking about. Watch this. Read that. Exodus chapter 16 verse 23. Uh -huh. And he said unto them, this is that which the Lord has said. Tomorrow is the rest of the Holy Sabbath. So that would mean that he's saying this on Friday then, right? He, that would mean if he says tomorrow is the Sabbath, this is being spoken on a Friday, on the sixth day of the week. Read on. Unto the Lord, bake that which he will bake today. So cook whatever you going to cook, cook it today. Before the Sabbath, watch this, read on. And see that you will see. Boil, read on. And that which remaineth over lay up for you to be kept until the morning. So you are not supposed to cook it on the Sabbath. You eat what you are, whatever you're going to eat on the Sabbath, you cook it Friday and you eat it on the Saturday. Now watch, he understand that? All praises. So that, so now you know that when I said that, I didn't make that up, James. That's, that's All praises. Now watch this. Watch what else we ain't supposed to do. 
Give me Nehemiah 13. Watch this. Watch this now. Is that what I want? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> they got some good questions, James. You are asking some great questions. You asking, hey, how y'all doing? Y'all come listen to the Bible. We going over the Sabbath day right now. You got it? Watch this. This one we'll listen to. Listen to this because you're going to the store. Read it. Here we go. Nehemiah chapter 2 verse 31. And if the people of the land bring wine or any victuals on the Sabbath day to sell. So James, this right here says if anybody brings anything to us, any victuals to sell, meaning this store is open to sell, this store is open, that grill is over there for us to buy. They're trying to sell us things, right? Watch this. That we would not buy it of them on the Sabbath or on the holy day. And that we would leave the seventh year and the exaction of every debt. So that is what we're not doing. It said we can't shop today. So all the gas that all of us bought, we bought it yesterday. All of the food that we gonna eat today, we bought it yesterday and right. cooked it yesterday to eat it today. Right. <laughs> huh? Ain't this work? What he said? He said, ain't this work? No, all right, let's get doing good on the Sabbath. Do good on the Sabbath. Start at 8, because this is the scripture that he said earlier. Start at 8. Verse 8, for the Son of Man is Lord, even of the Sabbath day. So Christ is Lord of the Sabbath. That didn't mean he could break it, because watch what he said. Read. And when he was departed thence, he went into their synagogue. So wait, it's on the Sabbath, and Christ went into the synagogue. So where's the Jews on the, in, in, why are they in the synagogue? Because on the Sabbath, the Jews come together in the synagogue. Right. So where are we supposed to be at on the Sabbath? Y'all supposed, you supposed to come gather with your brothers. That's what we going to go do when we leave here. Luke we finna go days. in the congregation amongst our families, our brothers and sisters together. That's exactly what Christ did on the Sabbath. Read on, read on. Verse 10. And behold, there was a man which had his hand withered. And when they asked him, saying, is it lawful to heal on the Sabbath days? So that he asked, look, the Pharisees, the same ones that had an issue with him plucking the corn, and he kept the law by getting the corn, the same Pharisees said, yo, is it lawful to heal on the Sabbath? Watch this right here. Read on. <laughs> that they might accuse him. And he said so they did it to accuse Christ. They was trying to accuse Christ because they hated his guts. Just like people hate our guts today when we tell them the truth. Read on. And he said unto them, What man shall there be among you that shall one have one sheep? Uh -huh. And if it fall into a pit on the Sabbath day, Read. will he not lay a hold on it and lift it out? So if me and you, so St. Man says me and you, we got land. You have a, a, a cattle fall down into a pit. That cattle is your bread and butter. That's how you make your money and feed your family. So it's sitting there. You didn't go out there to feed it. Then you didn't go out there to feed it. You didn't work. It happened to fall. So guess what? It said, would you not go and help them lift it up to save the thing? Would you not do that? Now watch this. Keep. We got to keep reading James. 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 They're working. They don't have to today. This is not a must. Watch this. Read. How much then is a man better than a sheep? Because you're better than a sheep. Because aren't you and our race of people, aren't they deceived today? Because you didn't even know some of the stuff we reading now. You're not the only one. 90% of our people that walk past us got the same questions you got. You had the courage to ask. Right. And yeah. the humbleness to ask and allow us to read it to you. All praise to the Most High. But what's going on right here, you're better than the sheep. Because right. you're lost. Right. Our job is to come to the lost. You ain't keeping the laws. What's your race, James? What's your race? James, how old are you? How old are you if you don't mind me asking? I'm 39. How old are you? He said 62. 62. You said you're black. My pants are black and I'm looking at a brown skinned man. Now, you may say black just to identify. That's not your nationality. That's not your race. That just means you're a dark skinned man. So what's your race, James? See? Now, now watch, we're going to read what Christ said about the lost sheep. Because <laughs> it said, you're better than a sheep. Read on. How much then is a man better than a sheep? Read. Wherefore, it is lawful to do well on the Sabbath day. So it's lawful to do well on the Sabbath day. 
by us coming out here and teaching the Bible, we're waking up the lost sheep of God. That's right. The lost sheep of Israel. That's who you are. You're an Israelite. You're the real Jew, James, and don't know it. Read that. Yeah. Luke chapter 13, verse 10. And he was teaching in one of the synagogues on the Sabbath. Christ went into the synagogue on the Sabbath. Once That's again, right. what day? He didn't go on the first day of the week. It was the seventh day. Yeah. All the Jews are supposed to keep the Sabbath day until we did. Right. Instead, we chose to keep what was allowed during this time. This is why our people go on Sunday, James. And we could not take Saturday off. So they beat us and made us do Saturday. They made us work on Saturday. Then they would let us off on Sunday. Now we do it as a tradition, James. No one teaches the Bible in the Christian church on Sunday because if they did, no one would be there. No one. That's fact. Because if you read it out of the Bible, why in the world would a Christian pastor who knows, claims he knows the Bible, why won't he read the laws of the Sabbath to you? What? And you've been going and you're 62 now. Hello. And you've Hello. never heard, you can't cook, you can't buy, you must come here. You've I'm never heard man. that. You've never heard I'm, that. I'm, 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 I'm told me that. Huh? Says grandma told me that. Yeah, but you went to church, why didn't your pastor tell you? Even if your grandma hey. didn't tell you, why didn't your pastor who you no, look to for no, spiritual no, guidance, why didn't he tell you? Now why they don't tell you? Why? To keep you in bondage. Because we get in bondage? You say the they reason that they don't tell you to keep, keep you in bondage. To keep you in bondage, Not yes. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how we're men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.